Hello everyone and welcome to Despawn Games, your one-stop shop for Twitch tips, tricks and tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom progress bar that you can control with your Twitch chat. Uh, or you can use it for subs, bits, reminders, whatever you want to do, it's all up to you. Uh, I'm going to go through all the steps you need for setup uh, and everything you can do to customise this for yourself. Uh, so before we begin, uh, just a quick reminder that if you want to ask me any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, ask me on socials at Paul Despawn, or come ask me live on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Despawn Games. Uh, I'm there every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, uh, where we will be playing games, going through Twitch stuff, anything you want to talk about. Come hang out. All right, let's just jump straight in, shall we? So I'm going to show you the first thing you need. So the first thing you're going to need is the move transition. Uh, so you can see it just moved there. Uh, it's going to be useful for a couple of other things as well, especially with the latest updates that they've been adding to it. So massive shout out to Exeldra for this. Um, so what you want to do, uh, obviously just go to the link, you'll find all the links you need below. Uh, hit download uh, and you can either run the installer or you can run the actual zip file for whatever your installation is. So if you're using Windows, Mac OS, Linux, totally up to you. I'm using Windows obviously, so uh, we'll hit download. Uh, you'll get a little zip file. We'll open up that bad boy. You'll get a couple of files in there. If you just back one folder, right click on the folder, uh, extract all, extract, and then that'll pop up. Copy those two folders. So you've got data and OBS plugins. So just right click, copy. Uh, so then you want to go to your C program files and OBS Studio. It may be in Program Files x86, depending on how you've installed it, if it's the 32 or 64 bit. Uh, but when you're in this folder, uh, all you wanna do in a space is just right click and paste. I'm not gonna do it because I've already got it. Uh, you'll get a couple pop-ups uh, asking for permission with it being right into your C drive. Uh, if you've got any files that needs to have right, just let it do that uh, as it'll just install everything that you need. Uh, won't break anything. If you're worried, take a backup of this folder, put it somewhere else, doesn't really matter, all up to you. Hey, Future Paul here. Uh, I missed out on this bit. Uh, you need to have Leoran Bob set up. Check the video above uh, for all the details, uh, but you'll need this to basically control your OBS. Forgot to mention it here. Don't know why I did. My bad. Back to past Paul. Bye. Okay, so once that's done, uh, all you want to do then is just jump into OBS. So if you've got it open already, just give it a quick restart. Uh, and then once you'll do that, you'll see OBS. So if you've got the move transition, you'll know by obviously selecting it from the drop down, you'll have a move option in your scene transitions. Uh, so yeah, so just do that, nice and simple. Uh, so in there, all you want to do is, uh, so this is where we'll create basically the actual progress bar itself. Uh, so obviously if you just use any rectangle, like I've got here, I've just created a simple PNG in a design program. So I use Affinity Photo, well, in Affinity Designer, uh, but you can use anything Photoshop, whatever, or just download a PNG from the internet. Whatever works for you, obviously you can make this as simple or as uh, extravagant as you want for your progress bar. Uh, but I'm just using a green uh, border just, just to simply show it for you. Uh, so all you want to do, obviously, is just add that as an image. So in your, so create a new scene, uh, ignore this, we don't need that there. That's just from my programs, Don't worry about it. Uh, so from here, just obviously right click, add uh, image. Uh, and in there, you'll obviously get to select where you want to browse that from. So I've just, I've got a ton of stuff. We don't worry about that. I've got that there. So open, so you've got it. Uh, and then what you want to do, this is where we need the move transition for this. Uh, so uh, if you right click on here, on your scene, uh, select filters. And in here, you'll see I've got various filters set up. I'll show you quickly how we do that. So we'll show the set zero one. So all you want to do is in here, you can either hit the plus icon or right click and add, and it's the move source that you want. Uh, so this will basically move that source wherever you want it to, and it will save the look. If you move it around, it'll save the location uh, of where you want that. So for these ones, what I've basically done, I've set up a different filter for every step of the way through the progress bar. But in this case, I'm doing it in quarters. So 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Uh, so in those, all you want to do, and a 0% obviously, because we want it as blank to start with. So what you want to do is take your source, uh, we'll use this one. Let me just disable and relabel it. So you can see there, what I've done is I've basically moved it so it's empty, so it's cut off. So all to do that, all you want to do is hold down the Alt key and move the window uh, by left holding down left click and moving it around. Again, just grab that and move it. So what I'll do is move that to, so it's off screen completely. 
So this is our basically our default state, so 0%. Once you've moved it to where you want it to, um, in the filter itself, just hit the, uh, let me move that over a little bit, hit the get transform button. Uh, what that will do is it will then save that location. One thing I've found, you may need to hit it a couple of times just because I've found there's a bit of a bug where it doesn't always save first time. Uh, so if you're ever unsure, you'll notice one of the numbers will change, but just hit it a couple of times. No matter how many times you hit it, just blitz it if you need to. Uh, a couple of other things I change just for personal preference and one that's needed for this setup is the duration. I change it to 1000 milliseconds, so it takes a second to change between filter locations uh, and then the next the last thing that you need is the start trigger uh, so for this all i've set it to is enable when the eye icon in front of this filter is enabled uh, so in here all the, that's the case of just yeah any time that this little eye icon is enabled it just changes it so just to show you what i mean i click that one so it's enabled it then moves it so again, all I've done is in each one of these, I've just added another filter for each part. So again, this is a 25% one. I've just obviously held down the Alt key, moved it to where I want it for 25%. Hit Get Transform a couple of times to save it. Same thing for 50. You can see the number changes down there. Uh, again, 75% and 100%. It's just a quick jump because we didn't leave it for the full second. Uh, so yeah, so you can see it's just a case of setting each one up for the different value that you want. Uh, so again, if you want to do it in quarters like I've done, you can do. If you want to do like 20, 30, 40 increments, you can do that. It's going to take a bit more setup when we get to the next point, but you'll see why. But it's all up to you how many steps you want the progress bar to go through. Uh, and yeah, so that's all the setup that we do in OBS. Nice and simple. Uh, pretty easy to set up um, the next thing we want to do is Lioran board so again if you've seen my previous video on the setup of this um, this will be uh, what you need to basically control uh, OBS with Twitch um, if you've not seen it link up there uh, maybe up there uh, and I've, all the setup is in there so make sure you've got that all set up first before we move on to the next step but yeah what you want to do is add new deck so I've already got it set up there already but we'll go through it from start to finish so we can show you what you need to do and then just click on that to open it. Uh, left click in a blank space to create a blank button. Call it what you want. I'm going to call this uh, Redemp. Uh, let's just call this Redeem 2, just so it doesn't get conflicted with the previous one I've got. Uh, so we'll hit Redeem 2. I'm going to drag it out. So again, these little arrows on the side, drag those out, just so it's a little easier to see. Uh, so that's the Redeem button. We're also going to set up a second one, is our Reset button. So this will basically reset the uh, the bar, the progress bar back to its default state whenever you want to reset it. Uh, so we'll set that to reset too as well, just so again we make sure we don't get any conflicts. Uh, I don't think it'll matter because it's a different uh, deck, but just to be sure. Right, so once you've got that set up, uh, all you want to do, let me move that over a bit so we can see it a bit better, is if you right click on your button and add commands. So in here, this will basically be what you're telling OBS to do every time the button is pressed. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is set up a uh, math um, change variable. So what we want to do is basically this variable is, uh, it'll capture every time the button is pressed. Uh, so we basically say every time the button is pressed, so it's pressed once, twice, three times, it'll capture that, and tell you how many times it's been pressed. So we want to set that, let's just call that redemption. Uh, we'll also copy that just because you'll find out why in a second, just so it's a bit easier. As you can see. Uh, we want to do that as a plus or equals, or plus and equals, and then set that to one. So that means every time the button is pressed, the redemption variable will go up by one. Start at zero, you press it, one, two, three, four. Nice and simple. The next thing we want to do is basically change the variables, or, or change the filter visibility. So you know how we had it in OBS where it's got set to uh, set um, the uh, basically the different filters on the scene. We want to turn those off and on depending on how many times the button's pressed. So for the first one, we're going to go, so again, you can just click it, uh, type in filter, change visibility. Again, select your source name. So the source name in this instance is going to be your scene. So in our case, it's scene two. Uh, and then we want to set the, uh, the first move value. So in this case, the 25% because it's going to start at zero and we want it to move to 25%. Uh, so we're going to set that to true. So the first time the button is pressed, it will set the redemption variable to one, set the value to true. 
So that'll basically then go, yep, so it's been hit, trigger that as one, and we'll turn on the, uh, the move value. So it'll set it to 25%, move it on, nice and simple. The next thing we wanna do, this is basically the compare um, end if. Uh, so what this will do is basically uh, when you've pressed that button for the first time, it will check if it is, in fact, we'll set it all up so you can see. So again, this is why we copied it, just control V to paste, less than or equal to, and we'll say two. Uh, so if, I don't know, we want, to, we want that to be one. Okay. Uh, so if it is less than or equal to one, stop. Uh, so that basically means the first time you press that button, it will set it to one, set that to true. If it's still at one, stop. Uh, then the next thing we want to do is basically do this for every other filter. So again, we're just going to uh, filter, change visibility. Again, thing two. This time we do the 50% one, set that to true. Uh, and again, just do your compare, end if, paste that in there, less than or equal to true, two. So basically that will do again there. So if it's if it's above one, move on and move it to 50%. If it's if it's only at two, just stop. And again, you can probably guess we then do the filter, change visibility, set your scene, 75% through. We do our compare and if redemption less than or equal to three. And then the final one we want to do again is just your filter. So again, filter change visibility. In two, then equals true. So there you go. So that'll basically go through each step and just check if. So again, you've got your redemption equals one. And so plus one every time it's pressed. Uh, it'll set it to 25% the first time. Check if it's still at one and stop or move on. Check if it's two, move on. Check if it's three move on so once that's done it'll basically uh it'll just basically move on the progress bar each time uh so what we want to do there so that's now done for the setup of the button uh so we're gonna do that for the reset now uh this is a little bit simpler so we're just basically turning off all the filters that we set up so again add commands and we want to do our filter change visibility again scene two because the one that's what i've called it but you can call it whatever you want just remember the name or you'll see it down the bottom there uh, and again, we'll just do all of the filters. So we'll set these to false now. Uh, what you can do as well, if you hit the little uh, scissors, uh, so that basically copies it, paste that, change it to 50, paste it again, five, change it again, set it to 100. Uh, and then the last two we wanna do, uh, or the last couple of things we wanna do is, uh, we wanna do our redemption as well. So we'll add a plus for this one. Uh, so again, we'll do math, change variable, uh, we'll control V, so redemption, this time just equals, set that back to zero, done, oh, actually no, we missed a couple, so go back, uh, so we'll paste these, so these are redemption, so that basically turn off all those ones, set the redemption back to zero, so it's again, default state, uh, and then the last two we want to put in there, Just I just put them in there at the end, just so we know where they are, so again, we want to set the zero back to false, but we also want to set it to true after. Uh, so what that will basically do is, because with the default, it should be all of your filters are turned off except for the zero, which will be the default. Uh, so we'll do that at true. We'll set that at 100 milliseconds, just a little bit later. But obviously these delays, those will basically mean if it's zero, they'll just all happen instantly. So what this will do is it will turn off all of these filters, set the redemption to zero, turn off, the, uh, the zero one as well uh, and then turn it back on a little bit later so it basically there's no conflict of them both trying to turn off and on at the same time uh, and then that's done so that's the button set up now it's just the triggers with twitch so what i'm going to do is if we go to our the right click on the buttons again add twitch triggers hit the plus sign i'm going to do this as chat message as you can see you've got all these options however you want to do it the so bit subs gifted um point redeems uh, host, raids, chat messages, or extensions. I'm not going to get into extensions here because I don't really played with them yet, but we will. Uh, but we'll do it for a chat message for now, uh, and we'll just say that uh, anyone who's a mod or above can do that. This will be a message just telling you like how the buttons work, 
so it's basically saying that only mods can do this button if you press this. Uh, if you select multiples, they'll have to be a mod and a VIP. So if you want mods or VIPs, just again, just add a second one, uh, just so you, you've got it. Uh, so for this one, we'll just say if you put exclamation mark test in there, that'll do that. So every time you type in exclamation mark test, if you are a mod or above, it will redeem it. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing for this one for our reset. So again, add Twitch trigger, add that chat message. Uh, we'll do mods again just so it's there and we'll say reset uh, so done so again this is just to show you how it works uh, so to make sure that it saves all those changes just done in the top right corner there so that deck is now done uh, so what we're going to do is come over to obs uh, and again in there just mission mark we'll do the reset first because obviously it's 100 percent uh, reset there you go so you see how it just moves back to zero and then obviously every time someone triggers that move on to 25 percent we'll click off it so you can see what it'll look like and we'll do test 5 percent 50 and 75 percent and then 100 percent there you go and then again back to zero so it's that simple so it's just a case of telling the system what to do um that's all your button presses nice and simple and obviously with that now in there so if we go back to the ad game scene ooh, that's a bit of a mess don't worry about it let's say off these all right uh, what would be uh, there is me here I am. I've been playing Resident Evil 2. It's a great game. Uh, so all you want to do there is then if you want to add that to your scene, just uh, in the in the sources, ads, uh, and you should have a scene option. Uh, so again, just select that and then just select the scene, obviously, from your goal. Don't worry about that. Uh, and again, we'll just test just so you can see that it's on the screen. Yeah. You see it's on there and again obviously if you want to you just move that around put it wherever you want uh so bottom there shall we uh, and then see it and again as you've got it there five fifty percent five percent percent and reset there you go nice and simple so it's that simple so it's just a case of obviously setting up the scene with the filters setting up Leon board with those commands to tell you what to do at each step uh, and then yeah just moving on from there so nice and simple obviously any questions please do let me know down in the comments below otherwise uh jump into my socials or on my twitch again as i say i'm there every tuesday thursday and sunday come hang out ask me any questions you've got but until next time thank you and goodbye And stay down. <laughs> that is an awkward place to land. Um, guys, get a room.